What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmondson here from Schwartz Edmondson Web Design. In today's video, I wanna talk about how to add subheadings to drop down folders in Squarespace 7.1. So before we jump in, I just want to give you an example of what it looks like in the wild. So a Squarespace web designer hired me to help her with her client site setting this up. So you can see she had these links in the folder drop down that the client wanted organized into these very specific categories. And it definitely makes it way more usable than if all these links were just in a, on top of each other, essentially. So this makes it really easy to create headings. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to set this up from scratch. Uh, it, it'll be a much smaller example. I only have five links here, and this definitely works when you have more links in the drop down folder uh, to help organize it. But I'm going to be showing you guys how to create it from start to finish. So I think it'll be helpful. So basically, I have web design, social media branding, workshops, and training under my services. And I want to split the first three into basically digital offerings. And then the last two are going to be under in person services. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my heading. So in the folder here, you can toggle it open and then click add page and we're gonna add a link. And for the link title, so these are gonna be my digital services. And then for the link, we're gonna do slash hashtag nav heading. And this naming convention is very important. So make sure you do it exactly like that. And then you can hit save and drag it where you want it to go in the folder. So we'll do the same thing for my in-person offering heading. So we'll go in-person. And for the link, we'll do slash hashtag nav heading. And then we'll hit save. And I'll drag that above my workshop and my training. So now we just have all these different links in the folder. Doesn't look too great right now. So the next thing I wanna do is add this rollover effect. And that just comes from my stylized folder drop down menu in Squarespace 7.1 tutorial. You can go to that blog post on my site and copy the CSS there and then paste it into your own site. So I'm going to go to design custom CSS and it has these two color variables. So one is for the link color background right now it's set to black and the link text color is set to white. So I'm just going to set the rollover background to this um, same color as my announcement bar. So I'm gonna pull that and then add that to the background color. And then for the link text color, I don't want it to be white, I want it to be the same color as the header. So I'm gonna go up to my header and I'll, I'll pull that color as well. So you'll have your own hex codes that you can update these variables with. Okay, so now we have the rollover, but our headings are also being rolled over, which is a problem. So we need to target them with CSS to make sure that we can style them differently than the rest of the links. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna add my two slashes to make a comment and I'll call this uh, folder sub heading styling. It's really important that you're commenting your CSS just to make sure that you're always staying organized. So I'll go ahead and click on one of my headings, right click, click inspect, and that'll pull up my Chrome inspect tools. And we can see that this link has an href, so that's the link destination of exactly what we gave it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna target this link based on its destination, and we're gonna be able to style just these links. And so obviously the other links in the folder have their own different destinations, only our headings have that same link destination. So what we'll do is we'll first target it by its L, uh, link element type of A, and then we'll target href equals this. So first I'll add my A, then I'm gonna open my brackets, and I'm going to copy all of this, and I'm gonna paste them between the brackets, and then I'll open up some curly brackets, and I'm going to give this a pointer events of none. So basically on the links, uh, when they're hovered over, they're getting a background color, but now on these heading links, uh, they're not getting the background rollover. So we've already differentiated them from the rest of the links in the dropdown. The next thing we can do is we could give it a font weight of bold if we wanted to, just to further differentiate it. Whoops, just gotta spell it right, font weight. So now you can see, boom, they're bold, and you can already tell 
that their headings differentiated, and we can also give them a font size. So we'll do 1.1M, and that just tells it to be uh, whatever font size it was originally, we're gonna be 1.1 times that size. So you can see it's just slightly bigger than the other links in the dropdown. So that's how easy it is to uh, create the subheadings inside of the folder, and it helps organize your links a little bit. Uh, on this site here, um, she added some right arrow carrots to just kind of inset the links a little bit, and I think that looks pretty good. So if you do want to do that on your site, again, this is totally optional, but you can go to the navigation title and just add in that right-hand carrot, and then you would go to all your other uh, links and do the same thing with the navigation titles. And that just, again, further styles them a little bit, um, differentiating them from the title. So as we hover over services, you can see what that looks like there. So there you go, that is how easy it is to add a subheading to your folder dropdowns with just a little bit of CSS and a little bit of setup. If you're gonna be using this on a client site, let me know, I'd love to hear from you guys. That's it for me, I'll see you in the next one.